Hello, respected viewers. Today is March 25th, a usual rundown of events at the fronts of the Ukrainian war. We start today from Artemovskaya, or rather, I apologize, from the Chasivyar direction, where our troops, continuing the offense on Chasivyar, are advancing slowly but surely towards the settlement. Now combat is taking place in the forest, a small forest between the so-called micro-district canal and the positions that our troops took on the hills the day before. Very serious fighting is going on. The aviation is in action artillery trying to bring the enemy positions down to zero. In order to seize them later as a result of these advancements yesterday, our troops managed to seize most of Bogdanovka under their total control, while the enemy has entrenched themselves in the southwestern outskirts of this settlement. Well, the settlement itself, as you can see, is located along a gully, a very steep gully, and therefore having taken the hill south of this settlement, we fully control movement in this very settlement. Accordingly, the enemy had no choice. Nothing left for the foe but to leave this district, and as we understand here in Zapadny Ivanovsk region, everything will depend on the success of our attacks on this very hill. Very fierce fighting continues. Fighting is happening right now. I greatly hope for good news from this direction. Meanwhile, our forces continue their success not only here but slightly to the south in Klishchivka district. Our forces have reinstated offensive operations by passing the enemy's main fortified district. In the western Klishchivka, thus, they are leveraging the success we had in Ivanovsky, and we are conducting an offensive operation on a broad front in this region. Primarily, our aviation and artillery are assisting us here. The barrage of fire gradually demolishes and nullifies enemy's positions, after which our troops are attacking them as much as possible. It's a very powerful offensive, one of our main focus. We continue to monitor the events. Another important sector where our attacks are taking place is traditionally over the past few months. This has been the Avdiivka sector, where our troops, after breaking through finally the enemy's resistance in Orlovka and Tonenka, continue to make progress here. The fields to the south of Tonenki are gradually occupied. The enemy is retreating here. Overall, the front line here has relatively already leveled off from Pervomaisky to Tonenka. Our troops have concentrated their main efforts in two areas. These are Berdichi and Semyonovka, where assault operations are being carried out. Here it's very, very powerful, just like in Chasivyar, where our aircrafts are working, trying to break through the enemy's lines. We continue to monitor the events. Other directions are less important, but nevertheless, they are important because they let us stretch the enemy's positions, extending their reserves, thus ensuring success in the primary directions. Firstly, I want to say a few words about Novomikhailivka, where the adversary today through his channels confessed to losing the majority of the settlement to the center. Plentifully behind our forces, the enemy only holds on to his western borders. There are also tactical victories. In the area of victory in the area of Georgievka, our troops have also resumed offensive actions in the district of Great Novoselka, to the south of Great Novoselka. Offensive operations are also taking place here, so we can talk about some kind of a unified plan, although serious forward movements are not yet taking place here. Nonetheless, tactical success suggests that all this may very well occur in the near future. Another powerful offensive operation. It's premature to definitively discuss this. We are observing the situation along with it. Active combat operations have resumed in the Siversky sector. There were serious battles in the area a little earlier. In the region of Bilohorivka, our troops started an offensive action yesterday, where a few months earlier they were able to drive out the enemy from the Veseloye area. Our troops continue offensive actions here. The attacks are ongoing on the hill. Between Vesiol and Vimki, seizing it will immediately undermine the positions. Of the enemy in the Rozdolovka area allow us to advance from the south to Seversk and significantly weaken the significance of the position that the enemy has been holding for many months in the east of this city so gradually. The intensity of our offensive actions is increasing immediately in two sectors. Serious offensive operations are underway. And if we add the northern direction here, a little to the north, these are Torsko, Terny, Debrov, then we can talk about a certain united Seversk offensive operation and it traditionally continues.